Huh? Hello and welcome to DevCast Ops. I'm James and I'm joined as always by Wale and Barnaby. And today, hopefully we're finishing what we started two, three weeks ago. Um, it's been a bit of a slog, but hopefully we're there now. Uh, yeah, this one's been a bit, a bit of a fat going through yeah just a quick disclaimer most some of as you 90 percent of us on this call have having internet issues so i mean there's three of us I'm not sure you know just what, uh, us. So. yeah well i was just seeing how weak you guys are um, Glad you have sure <laughs> uh, do you want to share my screen and we can sure. i after last stream, I spent an amount of time trying to prove this works. I don't know what I've changed. One thing I do know I've changed is in the server and templates. I've given it the actual ID, not the, I've given it the client ID, not the name. Uh, and that, but we don't know if there's a way of getting it to the bound audience becomes this, not this one. But when I got it, I think at one point I had it this one, but then Vault didn't work. Uh, it most, it works this one, but there's a few other things we need to do, like generating the JWT token. So I thought that may be a good way, a good place to start, get this to work as this, and then we can mess with it more another day if we want to. Yeah, Yes. sounds good. Uh, fiddling with this for a little while now. And to do that. So basically, we get this into our packer, hope we get the golden image, and have it ready for our packer stuff. We can then always come back later, but then we have our nice golden image pipelines. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So, what we need to do is this file needs to be a JWC token from Vault. Uh, and the first thing we do is actually start a client. Because uh, without a client, this is going to be quite hard to test. So let's make a client. New job. Test, test, test. Can't remember if I increased the size of these by default. Uh, yes, I did. That's fine. So this is our client spinning up, which um, actually, if I'm lucky, this is going to output an IP into our Discord, and I can just use that to connect. Um, but this needs to stop being pending first. We're not maxing out our server, are we? I'd be worried if we were. We don't really have anything running, do we? I mean, we're about halfway. <laughs> I mean, this client thing is like this should not be this big. If this is a simple bash script. It should not be this big. <laughs> yeah. Not According to what I've learned recently, we have to specify the st ephemeral storages. Oh, no, this is memory and CPU. Yeah, even that as well. We need to specify all of that. So we're in control. Yeah. Um, the the other thing that would speed this up is changing to exec two job because exec two jobs are slightly faster. Hey, it outputted an IP address. Yay! Well, bless you. Uh, <laughs> SH. Oh no, it's good. World we'll WSL first. So. Can you not SSH? From, I guess you're doing the answer stuff, not the. My um, username is the same, but I don't understand why it's not here. So I shouldn't have to type my full thing. Permission denied. Oh. Are these boxes set up so we can SSH onto them by default? They are not. That is correct. I need to edit the box. 
It's been a while I've been able to log into Zero Trust. <laughs> you can dig around in the background. That's what I'm trying to do, but um, yeah. It's the. And it's. If you. At some point, I really need to fix this so we can just log in these boxes. But it's. Um... So that's just another Google, an addition, additional flag to the bash, bash line it's a, for it's GCP. A, <laughs> It attaches to the metadata and pulling the metadata from a file um, is actually really complicated. I can't remember what this is. Because um, no, it's the same metadata block, you're just setting different settings. Um, I guess do we have any metadata on the, we don't really have any metadata on the clients that we spin up, do we? It's the start script. It's having two different metadata is actually the hard part. Do we get metadata from the image? So we pass in metadata on, when the server starts. Sure. Could we bake any metadata into an image? Uh, kind of. I mean, you, you can do with the way that it works. The way metadata works, it kind of just like runs files in a certain in a couple of directories, so you can just preload those files in. Hey, action yam. Sorry, bad name spelling wrong. Uh, everyone is welcome here. We are diving into the weeds, maybe a little bit, um, but any questions are gladly welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm so. messing around with JWT and stuff today, finally. Mm. Oh my god. It should be happy. It just doesn't like it doesn't join. Yes, oh, perfectly happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can always say. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Oh, this is the image. We're not doing image stuff yet. I need to now run the answer against it, which is why I should have just loaded the Terraform code. Oh well, we are here now. Uh, oh, is this the old, the old Packer image? Because the new one's on a, um, a different uh, pipeline, different channel. The this is the correct Nomad image, the correct image for Nomad. I don't think our console stuff is correct for it yet. I'm, we're just going to get auto join working before you're worried about the rest of it. So I think auto join means we auto config means you don't have to specify the CAs because this should pull in yeah. the files and it's going, oh, these files don't exist. He's actually, yeah, I'm going to run this anyway because. Uh, that's part of what we're doing today. I need to put in the RP into my inventory file. It should just be as simple as going. It is a. It is a 
console client. Yeah. That's the only, yeah, that's the only thing about it for. Yeah, we don't have seven anymore. I don't know if we want to get rid of that one. Uh, that was down. Uh, SH low. Why is it not? I'm trying to see. Autocomplete. Oh, that's uh, there. No, I'm doing it. It's uh, just one dot not local requirements. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. As it always does. <laughs> that should work. That is a lot. Oops. Connection closed by remote. I wonder if the drive's full. Uh, I reckon it's something more stupid than that. Nope. Connection closed by remote. Uh... I'm going to say I don't care at the moment. Are we happy with that? Yeah. Just like comment out a large portion of the stuff. I mean, no idea if that's good enough to make it work. I just won't complain about that box. But... I mean, I've probably logged into the other box. Yeah, I'm intrigued why it's boosting you out. It won't let me in either. So I'm going to dig around in the background and see. The worst comes to worst, that box can probably do with the bounce. Yeah, that will crash what we're doing right now. Yeah, that's there's a reason why I went for the comment out over. Um... <laughs> because the servers should be set up correctly. Okay. That has bits and things. On it, so. Do this. There we go. Now it's complaining about JWT and all this other stuff, but mainly JWT. So we need to create an Ansible step. Can we log into Vault? Do we have a Vault token from here? Vault token. Like, or, um, like, have we set up a way? I suppose this runs as me, doesn't it? So I can just, as long as I've exported. No, this runs as the. This runs as the server. Or me. It runs as root, I think, unless we specify. If it either runs if went, as. If I went your user, it as me. Yeah. But we. There's probably a way we can get the boxes to authenticate with Vault, though I don't think we have. DCP auth is us. Uh, okay, I want to prove this works. So I'm going to go, this can run as me, this can run locally for, net, for me. This can run locally for now. And I can, I'll just load the file in after. Uh, gen GWT token. Uh, 
Oh god, how I do this is like that. It's been a while since I had to do commands. Oh yeah, command and then cmd and then you have change do if you want to specify directory to execute it in. Why have we not done any commands? You would have done in console, I thought. Oh, I've got I've got it to only open. Um, okay, that's fine. I've got it to only open the ones that I've have open. <laughs> uh, and the command is I'm just going to look at some docs. Vault. Uh, vault read identity OIDC token role. Uh, and I'm just going to. Luckily, here's a command I made earlier. Um, so this is this should work. So vol, what I need, and then I will register. Should most of the stuff has it. Register. Gwt out. Oh, that's going to be a. We reckon dash format. Uh, dash output vault. No, it's format. No, it doesn't. Oh. Luckily, that token is zero. Though I will need to get a new token. Oh, I can't see how it's on this desk. <laughs> Okay, now there we go. Get token for my JSON. Npy ignores these on there. It says Npy ignores these on there. Unrecognized parameters, and it clearly puts it in <laughs> JSON. <laughs> I think it expects it before the path. Oh, maybe. Let's make a mass token zero. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Luckily, these tokens don't mean anything, so there's no reason why we can't just share them. Uh, this needs to be a variable. Uh, auto config. Vault role. Everything else that is in quotes. Okay. That makes data with T, and then uh, I was stealing some code from somewhere. If I need to register it. Do I need to register it? I just need to store it into file now. This one. Oh, I don't need copy. Uh, you will need to register it if you want to do anything with it. Can I just call you it from re the register as part of the command? Yeah, sorry, I've, I've done that. I have registered one. So now I just need to save yeah, it as a file. file. So have... Yeah, okay. just copy will do that. Copy. Yeah, copy and then content and then death mode and the rest of the rest of that lot. 
Oh, that's bad. Bad tapping. Uh, desk needs to be here. Content is that. Do I study out? Hi, come to from Dawson. Top case, lower case. Uh, lower case, uh, but underscore after from. It's all in brackets, dots. Data from Jason dot. Oh, and that gives me the client ID as well. It's, oh, that's cool. So that gives the client ID. So we can probably do some form of version of this in the server to get the client ID. Okay, fingers crossed, that's gonna work. Yeah, because you had a couple of weeks off, I think, as well. It seemed like a simple thing. I put it on the wrong line. <laughs> I probably need to do, oh no. It would default to the user to that's running it, so it'd be root. So six, 600 on root is probably not the best idea. Do I? Is it meant to be readable by? Uh, console. I made a show into console group. Just put it, yeah, 640 and then console group. I don't really care. And the owner can be root. I think a job off stream off stream, and it's probably been a job off stream for a while, is just sitting down and going like, hey, f like, look through the code, format it. The like boring thing that's probably not that interesting uh, to watch on stream, but will probably make our life easier in the future. Yeah, do some minting. Make things pretty. Oh, God. Yes. Uh, no such file or directory vault. Of course, these boxes don't have vault on them. Oh, wait, no, this box should have. No, the client doesn't have vault on it. The server's vault on it. Yeah, the client have vault. Could you run it locally no. and register the token? So the running the running it locally, which I do actually need to do now. Um, yes, yeah, this kind needs to run locally. And it's probably better because it means that we have to um, just run uh, it's not it means we have to you can run just that play locally to generate the token. But yeah, I can just run the task locally, can't we? You have to install vault. Yeah, you can run the task yeah, the... locally or the play. Yeah. yeah um, have you got um, vaults installed on your WSL? That's the question. Yes. Oh, it's delegate two. That's what it is. Yes, my uh, this would want this one anyway because we don't need vault in the boxes, but we can still vault in our pipeline. 
No, I guess the other way you could get around it is just convert it from the um, I can do CLI it. to an API. But then we still need to do the authentication, whereas we can make our packer pipeline authenticate, which I think it already is authenticated with Vault. And if not, it probably needs Vault authentication for something anyway. So all of our secrets are stored. It makes sense for our pipeline to have access to them. Yeah. Whereas this server doesn't really need access. Well, it may need access. Uh, dial. Yeah. Oh, of course it needs. It's not just going to read my environment variables, is it? I think you can have it. There's a dash address flag if you want to pass it in the um, play. I've just got to give it the token as well. Uh, it might read your token. No, probably not because it's answerable. I think there's a, an OS block. Uh, so if I do, uh, I'm in a, I'm in a, in a one file now. If I go like dash the, oh God, I can't, <laughs> immediately forgot to do uh, extra bars. Oh, it's um, it's a JSON string, or you can do key value with space separation. Uh, key value space is probably easier. So I can just do like, do I, is it quoted, quoted key, key value? So if I go vault, yeah. equals, um, vault, like that, so I assume isn't actually going to work. I probably need to put the environment on the actual, Command block. You need, yeah, you need the environment on the command block or to pass it to the address section, but that should work for a pass through. You could probably do your token that way as well. Yeah, that's that's my thought. Yeah, get prove, prove this one works, and then I was gonna, um, could it, it would just be. Yeah, that, that didn't work. Um, vault address. I want to prove the vault address works before I start messing with my token. <laughs> you don't want to send your token to the world. Well, I, people can't do anything with the token because we still, it's all private networked, but I would like to at least pr try and practice practice. Oh god, maybe I should turn off some of this other stuff. Cool, that worked. So now I can just go. Vault token. <laughs> I was like, oh, you need namespace for admin because I've been just the last few times been messing with Vault being um, HCP Vault. And you have the admin namespace. Just slowly baking in. Baking in half to the admin namespace. This is correct, yeah? For space separated? Yeah. Cool. I think I prefer doing it in the JSON. 
JSON format, but I think it's just like like keys in JSON wherever I can to them isolations. Yes, I think space separated mm -hmm. is more bash, whereas JSON is more like normal things. Sweet. Uh, you probably don't have a vault token, or have you exported your vault token? That passed. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've done that. Yeah, it's gender. Uh, invalid characters like dash. I mean, this is this was too much for me to hope that it was just going to work. Uh, should we do some debug? I may also just for now. No tier lessons every. Uh, oh wait, load tier lessons every console. No, this worked. This is the. Oh no! I just did. I... I didn't actually edit the name. Whoops. D debug. No, it's just a message. Just bar. You can try and try and pass. It's, it's closer to what I'm actually doing. This should just run the client now, so it should just be like two steps. Cool. Yeah, you're gonna be flashbacks to work last week. Oh, I miss oh no. Oh then <laughs> uh, there's no new line yeah, characters, but hopefully we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my key was changed. Um, Jason. Okay, you can go to Jason and then data. Oh, you missed. Oh, that was my shoe. That should be data. It's just dot data. I did JWTR instead of dot data. I don't think you'll need from JSON again. Do you think it was there, do you think it's a which character is the fact it's all JSON? Um, yeah, the only reason that I'm the other on client site I'm passing through JSON twice is because it's got the escape JSON as the body. Yes. Whereas this is just a single JSON block. And you've got those two lines that cause issues. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's in the certificates. Uh, even the ones without the certificates have a double pass, but that's because, yeah, escape, escape JSON. Oh, okay. Sweet, that worked. So now I can delete this. I need to create a file. Why do you need a file? Uh, this needs a token directory. Uh, fair enough. Oops. Uh. Oh my god. Keyboard. <laughs> I realized I'm not really particularly good at Ansible code today, but I just want this to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. more of it. Well, that's happy. After we've done a tidying stream, we do an upgrade stream where we go through and upgrade all of our versions as well. I think I upgraded recently with one and three. Maybe not on Vault, but I think console may not upgrade recently. Yeah. Oh, 16 something. Uh, 
the restart journal at the end. Authority. Failed to know I thought I got this to work. So passing through the CAs and stuff. Do we need more of that CA and stuff? Does the auto config not pop face it for us? It just says initial configuration not PC not happy. Uh failed to validate certif certification. I mean, I could try disabling the getting all the first stuff. There we go. I guess the only thing is we can't get the other box to check the CA because where are we pulling it from? I'm just copying it off another box. Yes, which means I would have just loaded in blank values into this box for the CA files. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, well, first comes worse. Next, delete Uh, cannot be said without TLS for server communication. Cool. So we need to get into the box. Um, uh, okay. Let's try and go into the box then. My money is that the, um, the disk being full. Well, there's some ways of fixing this. There's ways of testing this. Let's go uh, restart. Uh, Set. No, I don't know what you said. Stop. Yo, uh, would that not affect our Cloudflare? That's the main server, right? Nope. This is a okay. tunnel into GCP. Ah, oh, okay. We talk yeah. through Cloudflare itself. Yeah. Not that it affects me anyways, because I'm not I can't access it at this point. I it if it affects our ability to talk to the other boxes. Yeah, so we can no longer talk to, to us. Ah, that's minor. I think my Cloudflare issue was from Boundary. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but by the time I realized it was Boundary, I had already logged out. So now I can't log back in anymore. <laughs> So. Uh, I'm just going to delete everything to the 7 because we're not really touching 7 anymore. Is that it's still uh, even in our Terraform code or has that been removed? Uh, it is still in the Terraform code. The fact that this box is um, str <laughs> struggling to stop. That is not a good sign. <laughs> I mean, we can always just delete it. Can we resize the disk without um, affecting the box? So with AWS, yes, if you're going up. But I'm assuming you should be able to do the same here as well. Uh, I don't know what disk size we've got. Means, 20 uh, gig. Uh, yeah, we can we can make a bureau. It's 
permissions. Just know that we won't be able to downgrade. Sorry. Well, you can always, you can always downgrade. We use Terraform. Say again. You can always downgrade. We use Terraform. We just even with in. Terraform, that didn't work for me with AWS. You delete the instance. You oh no, 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 no. The disk size. no! No, no, no. We were talking about <laughs> while the instance is up. Yes. While the instance is up, you can't downgrade. That's all. Uh, where there's a will, there's a way. Yeah, no, nah, I couldn't afford to shut it down. So, It says so it's our the one gig factorio disk. Not gonna run. That's the system volume claim for our U server. Because this nomad data has is just no, 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 no. Just the way we did it. Uh okay, this isn't connecting. I'm very tempted just to delete this box and try again. Because there's something wrong with this box. Yeah. Do we want to do a tear from destroy and recreate? <sighs> Uh, vault data. I'm just worried if we. Uh, if vault then becomes sealed, that's slightly annoying. If we just. Well, vault will become uninitialized. Yeah. We'll lose all the data, it won't become sealed because it auto unseals off the, um, the key Google like key management. Yes. Um, so you think it's a storage issue? Would be my guess. If we can't log on there, things are running. It's when you log on, you create a home directory. We can try and increase the size of the disk. Let's see if that does anything. If you edit that, it will let you change the size. Yes. And obviously, this needs to go into Telephone. I'm just being lazy. Yeah. Because otherwise, the next time a Telephone will run, it will. Um, Hello. Yeah. Oh. Uh, or, or destroy and recreate. That's weird. I've never seen that fail before. You did restart this box in the process, and it was running but on this box. Oh, it runs this box. Okay, that we go. I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> But it did, it did kill it. it. did the correct thing. It killed our test box because the server went down. So it ran correctly, uh, even if it killed the other thing. I don't understand why we can't. This doesn't work. Still erroring. It's just saying network address is unreachable. Uh, oh, wait. 
should have just restarted something. Now do we need to reset? We, there yeah. shouldn't be anything we need to edit. It should just work. But... I mean, there's nothing important involved. It's just like... Annoying one. Oh, like, like, no, nothing hard. Uh, there's the Google, uh, Google um, stuff. I mean, our Cloudflare thing is healthy. Like it, it thinks it's healthy. It's just this box that's not, um, not having it. Do we just want to use the HCP console for now? What would HCP console give us? Wait, you said you're trying to do... Um, so what we're trying to achieve is connect H um, the client, right? So uh, oh. Yeah, I mean, currently our main box isn't working. Yeah. So then... We cancel all of that and just move to HCP console. Uh, HCP console doesn't uh, let us use console connect, which is what we want to do for our future networking. Yeah. I think we, I'm just pushing the telephone gauge. I think we run a telephone we create on the box to that is. On the main one, right? On the main one, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna. Oops, not logged into anything. Uh, I am tempted to see if this plan says I'll like anything's weird in our account before I then go to uh, destroy. I don't think there would be. Resisting state, but it's just yeah, it's probably just be the twos missing, yeah, on name my client. Which uh oh another clients can spin up. Okay, let's just discard the one for now. New one, additional oh what's even called? Main server. People are happy. There's nothing really important. Do we want to pull out the Google creds? Do we save that? I suppose we can just regen them. Just regen them. Cool. If anything, it will show us the bits of the pipeline that we've kind of neglected automating previously. <laughs> That'll be out of the streams worth. Uh, yeah, luckily we're not uh, game streaming this weekend, so we have another stream to get everything back up so we can play Factoria in two weeks. I am looking forward to Factory actually. Yeah, so what we don't, what we're not telling you is you can have to stream this Saturday to get the server running. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. What? False place request Guna doesn't mention any resources because it lacks an instance key. Ah, oh, Google. Yeah, we have got <laughs> an instance key. You really balked it. Well, no, this is a telephone thing. Like oh, this main server, key. this main server is variableized. 
but the uh, tain is working. So if we can't tain, the other option, uh, delete. Bye bye. Yes, it's interesting. So it said that's going to delete the. When we the spin it back up, is it going to take our. What's that? When we spin it back up, is it going to take our claimed instance? Will it take our reserved yes. instance that we had? Yeah, so you don't reserve an instance. You agree that you're going to spend this amount of calls and this amount of RAM a month. Oh, that's cool. So you can kind of architect that however you like. You could have one junky yeah. server or a few smaller ones. Yeah. So if we wanted to, we could actually split this out into small ser into smaller servers. Um, I don't know if that gives us anything, um, but we could. Not really. So is this Ben? I guess that's we're not running. Um... Would you say why? Is the spend that we have to do or including the disk storage as well? Uh, disk storage is extra. Oh, okay. uh, not by much. Yeah. Like we, for our one box that runs everything, we do not spend that much every month. Fair. It's just, I never, I never thought about disk storages and on an instance up until recently. Yep. Yeah. Data, we uh, we had it where our NAT gateway was the same price as all those two boxes. Like it's all the things you don't think about are the things they get you. Yeah. 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 Oh. Wait, I can't read it. Please, but before you go away, I can't see. What is that? The, the the agent pool used by this workspace has no registered agents. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, nomad, he's gone. Uh, don't uh, use an agent. <laughs> or, or we have separate servers for everything. This this doesn't need an agent. It's just one PCP. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is is multiple smaller servers is worse than one big server for our use case. Because what you'll end up having is on the Vault yeah, server, you need kind of a console point. client, on the, on the Nomad server, you need a console client, just to like bridge the connectivity. Hmm. I think I'm almost out. Yeah. By having one big server, you like the shared services, be used I mean, like the OS has a, a base level cost to run. So multiplying that out across lots of servers means you just spend a lot of a large proportion of your compute running Linux and sort of monitoring services. If you can do like from scratch containers on a bare metal hypervisor, then it can go smaller. <laughs> yeah, so at that point you can split up. There's no benefit to being one server over many servers. But good luck doing that. Is it not because of the all the dependency stuff you have to install yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because I did consider that for the Docker file that I was working with. No, nah, it's okay. Yeah, at all that right. point you're kind of approaching sort of edge like IoT computing. Which is cool tech, but, but very different. But, but there is also a vice versa of a CPU can only run so much a second. So when you get really big workloads or really high performance workloads, it's worth having lots of lots of um, machines or lots of small segregated amounts of um, CPU. Hopefully. This has spun up a server. This has spun up a server. Our tunnel is Still healthy. Ah, uh, yes. You have, you didn't give me access to that view. 
because I need I, I for some reason I can't log in. So but it's fine. We'll sort that after stream. Um, and now, did I re-add the seven? I didn't, but I can just keep meaning that to seven. Wow. Well, I guess Dynamic inventory. Matter that much? I guess it will help prove the auto config. Ooh. Barnaby, sorry, your voice, uh, whatever you just said was delayed. Can you say it again? <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter if we have the seven or not, but it will spin up the auto config. I think my internet is proper dying there. Yeah, we just, we have a, we have a client up to him, might as well test that. Uh, yeah, it's, it may be worth, I mean, we moved to Packer, so dynamic inventory doesn't do anything for us. But yeah, no, it's, uh, see what happens. There's something that would be cool to ha to add in the future is auto join along with auto config. Yeah. This is probably going to be messy. Um, I may good we're now air clock. Uh, I may off stream just make someone happy like this. This just needs a can be um, ignore our block. Like there's just some we've never restarted this things that it needs. Um, so that's probably a between stream yeah. thing getting this back up. So well, I don't know if it's something interesting. Save it to the stream, next good. stream, but hopefully. We'll be back up and running by next time. So, unless there's anything else you want to say, <laughs> we will say thank you for watching. No, I think I need like... to fix my internet for next time. <laughs> yeah, and I need to get Cloudflare fixed as well. Probably. Yeah, all the problems. Uh, yeah. Like, subscribe, share, bell, all the things on all of the platforms. And until next time, bye.